Hey guys, I'm Ready Gamer on a Wait, and today we're here back on this NASCAR Heat 5 Championship mode. We're racing at Texas today. Now, I have found something out. Um, I guess everybody, from what I know of, I just watched a YouTube video, everybody is actually getting that highlighter, um, that highlighter tire glitch. So, like, as you can see, I have black tires selected for this car, and uh, they just automate to that highlighter yellow. So, um, they'll probably fix this within the next update or maybe when tomorrow when the standard edition comes out. I'm not 100% sure. I would say they'll fix it within the next update. And I'm also not, uh, I've entered my gold edition codes like three times now. And it's like, thank you, you've redeemed your code. And then I just, I, I'm not able to use Tony Stewart. I don't know if you guys are able to use Tony Stewart now or if it's going to be able to use him Probably, I, I think it's just that we're not going to be able to use them until um, the actual game, the standard edition, comes out tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's just, I'll sh see you guys when we start qualifying here at Texas for uh, 44 laps of racing. All right, so we're pulling onto the track, but if you guys haven't seen any of my other championship, oh, I haven't really the track just yet, but... As you can see, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you haven't seen the first two episodes. Yeah, there it is. So it it's glitched to where it's like that highlighter, greenish, yellowish highlighter color. So it this pro core scheme looks nice, you know. But then you look on the side and you're like, why the frick are they yellow tires? It's just the glitch in the game. I don't know when they're gonna fix it, but um. All right, yeah. So <laughs> that's that. We're just gonna have to deal with it, and I'm I'm fine with it for now. At first, it was a bit annoying, but I got used to it. I, I last episode, I wanted to run that flex heel scheme just to try to match it up. I don't know what you guys thought about the flex seal scheme. Um, it's definitely not my favorite. So yeah, I was actually gonna run a different sponsor, like I said in that episode. I was gonna run a love scheme, a terrible qualifying run. We're gonna put us in P23. I don't think we're gonna be that getting that third win in a row this episode, but um, uh, we could just try for a top 10, maybe a few stage points. Um, on the pole is gonna be Kyle Busch, and Alex Bowman is in the top 10, of course, because he is running dominant all year. Okay, we're gonna gain two spots when we start inside lane. Let's go racing that picture. Oh, baby, we got Austin Dillon, he crashed during qualifying. No, Austin, no, Kyle! Was he on the pole? No, Bubba! No! Alright, that's not it. Oh, I love all these drivers. Okay, we're, we're starting by a fake driver. Yeah, here we go. The green flag is out. We are underway from Sexus Motor Speedway. Starting right behind David Reagan. Oh, no, no, no. Starting behind Chris Bisher here in P21. And we're starting by here we go, we're gonna try to gain some time right here. Oh, we can collect Busher a little bit. We go to the middle of the lane there. What a wreck Busher. Oh gosh! Busher gave us a little shove there. See, we'll run top 20. Worst finish of the season. So far, winning two races in a row. I don't think we're gonna get a P2. I'm just really aiming for a top 10. I want to get stage points this race. Um, this is the longest race of the season so far. All right, we're gonna split the high lane on Cole Custer here and move down almost a top 10 run already. Texas is definitely not my best track, but I like racing here. First win here in NASCAR Hate 4. Uh, in last year's game, I do remember the first win. We're running like a 25% race here. And um, I remember I was battling with Denny Hamlin, and then he got a little bit loose off of turn two, I think it was, and then slowed him down. And boom, I got the win at Texas. So let's see if in my first race at Texas in E5 I can get a win. It was like the second or third race at Texas. But I got that first win. Oh gosh, we were really loose off that corner. We got the fan favorite Chase Elliott running right behind us here. Zenny Hamlin leading the race. And now his teammate Muntrex Jr. leads. Joe Gibbs Racing still looking for their first win this season. Look how Motorsports got a win the first race. Of course, 
we're over here again in uh, two wins. We're in this winning each driver here in, on the season so far. Winning two of the first three races. And we've had a top ten in every single one. We're running behind the pack in tenth. I would like to gain a few more spots before we get to the end of the stage. I don't think that's going to happen. Just trying to get loose on this corner because that seems to be a problem. Better corner right there. Elliot running behind. All right, here we go. We got Kevin Harvick in P9. Let's see Ryan Blaney. All right, now Talladega winner in the past two Talladega races. Let's see if he can make it three in a row. Benny Hamlin's back out front. We gotta at least get one to get through the And I was racing 100% race trucks throughout the truck series last night. Just a little quick race, you know, for fun. And uh, finally, got my first win, but Natalie Decker shoved me down the track. Uh, like, midway through the first stage, we actually still won, even though we had to pit. Shoved me down the track, and I came back up into the field. And I uh, was happy in Natalie Decker. But we got the win, of course. So I finally got that Daytona win, except it was in the truck series, so. I think I'm going to do like a series of 100% races at Daytona. Um, I'm going to do the Xfinity series today. So here we are gaining on Harvick. Oh, now Kurt Busch falls back to ninth. Dang, I'm surprised we don't really have a draft here at Texas. Five to go, five to go. Alright, here we go. There's the draft. I'm going to see if we can get a good run on Kurt Busch. Try to get two stage points as of now. Okay, that's we're about to get one extra point here if we can pass him. I don't know where we got draft. Seems like 180 is where you really get draft. Actually, no, we're still drafting the card. All right, we're trying to move up on Blaney for three stage points. I'll take that. Oh, no, it's Harvick. Oh, shoot, Harvick came right down on us. All right, we're gonna have to run high on Blaney here. Alright, that is three stage points. I don't think we got enough to get the stage win, so it looks like Martin Shrek Jr. will be picking up his first stage win of the season. Still yet to get a stage one win. We've only won the race and then the stage in stage two. So we've had like four stage wins pretty much this season. That's the most of any driver. Joe Gibbs Racing looking for their second total um, stage win. Oh, why am I saying um, Truex is going to win the stage? De Denny Hamlin's running down. Here we go. We got five points in the stage. I thought we were only going to be settling with one, to be honest with you. Now we got Alex Bowman running in the top five, as he has all season. He's been in the top five every single race, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because uh, we almost got that win at Daytona, and uh, we were relying on him to push us. And I'm pretty sure he got, like, fourth. Here we go, trying to break a top five finish in the stage, coming in the white flag in the stage. Denny Hamlin's going to take the white flag. We are going to move it down on Bowman. Denny Hamlin looking for his second stage win of the season. He got his first stage win at Auto Club. almost Kyle Bush. Just passed him. We choked that stage. We should have won that stage. Up. Looks like we're gonna get actually inside top five for a P4 if we can hold Bowman slash everybody else through this corner. Looks like we will. Here comes Martin Truex Jr. with the run on the inside. He's gonna go. Oh, it's gonna be Denny Hamlin just barely. Alright, we got a P4 here in stage one at Texas. I'll take it. So we get seven points here in the stage. Denny Hamill, though, collects his second stage run of the season by a hair. Um, that was almost true, X Junior. All right, we're gonna have to get an out lane, outside lane start. So, uh, yeah, here we go. I'm driver. Starting by my least favorite driver. We're just gonna try to get a draft on Truex Junior. It's no mercy. I'm not. I'm not gonna help anybody get their first stage win of the season. Logano got the first ever stage win of the season. And then Denny Hamlin goes back-to-back -back stage one victories here in back-to-back -back races. So, yeah. Completely custom schedule because I'm liking... 
I, I like the schedule, even though there's a few races that don't race two times in schedule, they're still on the schedule. Such as Homestead Miami, which I'm not going to It's better than Martin's Mill. <laughs> um, we race at Chicagoland twice. And that's, they don't, they only race that once every year. What else? We race at Kentucky twice. Darlington, we race there twice. Yeah, I'm, I've already made a few predictions for the playoff. I think we're gonna get a win in every, um, every round. I think, I think we can bring home the championship at, uh, Atlanta. Of course, that last race of the round of eight, if we don't end up winning a race in the round of eight, we got Bristol's. <laughs> kind of cheated in the first I love racing at Bristol. I've won every single race I've raced at Bristol. Um, in P5. Oh gosh, we're gonna get high as we try to battle Denny Hamlin for the lead. Oh, we're gonna get his draft. All right, we're gonna try to get a good run on him. He's gonna go high. We're gonna stick low. We're gonna get a small draft in his team. I really thought we were about to spin right there because I got down on the eight a little bit. Off the front stretch, Denny Hamlin's gonna lead lap number three here in stage two. We have one last lap here on the stage, and uh, we're running P2. Oh, we're running the uh, line so well. We're currently first in points. So, and then we have like 97 points. So currently, I believe we have like 104 points on the If I'm correct, we have a total of 104 points. I'm pretty sure that would make us the first driver to reach I could be, I could be wrong. I really didn't think we were gonna be having too much of a good shot at winning here at Texas, but now it's looking like a pretty good chance. We're running top, or we're running P2, about to take the lead from Denny Hamlin if we can get a good, good corner. That's usually my problem at Texas. I don't run the best corners. So if we could just keep it down here, and uh, oh, we might actually lead the lap. Oh, Hamlin got a better run though. Yeah, he'll lead the lap, but we're gonna take the, or the lead for the first time here at Texas. Let's get a good run. Oh, I wanted him to move down with me. All right, I'm gonna pass him. Martin Truex Jr. moved his way up to second. I don't think he's really been in the second like all year in today's race. All right, we're running that apron right down on the line. Here comes Truex Jr. Possible first lead lap of the season. I'm going to battle him hard. He will not lead the lap. We're staying right on his door. Oh, Trix Jr. a bit loose there. So we get for, or that's, that's uh, why we run his door. We're going to try to slow him down. Coming into that turn, we're going to get loose. Of course, I wasn't turning down into him. I was just running on that door through that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take the lead from Trix Jr. And he is not gonna lead the lap. Trix Jr. tries to lead his first lap of the season, I'm pretty sure, and still is not able to, so. Running pretty well here at Texas. We've won stage two in every single race except for Daytona. <laughs> and the, the, the final stage, except for Daytona. <laughs> Um, and then when we go to Charlotte, we'll try to win the only stage four of the season. I, do we race Charlotte twice? I think we only, I only have that on the schedule once. Tracks were going to go bad. I, I say Martin, Martinsville, Kentucky, and um, Dover. I'm not the best at Kentucky, but um, I could try to make it work at Kentucky. I just run the corners a little bad there. I'm not the best at running those corners. I'm not the best at Homestead too. I don't, I'm not that good at braking and running the right speed in corners at Homestead. I try to run the high lane and I just don't the wall. So I, I always run, run the low lane at Homestead. Oh gosh, we're in the grass a little bit. Here comes Denny Hamlin with a good run. We got two to go on the stage. Let's not choke the stage like we did back in uh, at uh, Auto Club. Right now, All right, you're clear. Yeah, we were in a pro pro scheme this race. Uh, we got a Phoenix match. But yeah, getting ready to take the white flag here in stage two. We are the stage two master this season so far. Bowman, the only other driver to win stage two in a race this season. There we go, we're gonna go ahead and take the white flag in stage number two, trying to be 
continue our stage two streak of three of two racing in a row so far. One in stage two, three, and we could go with a three in a row win streak. Yet the sweeper race. We'll see if that happens. Probably at Bristol. I'm gonna say a sweeper race at Bristol. Go Bristol races. You know how it is. Oh, we get on the apron a little bit, but that's not gonna matter. We are gonna go ahead and win stage two for the third race in a row. I'll take it. Denny Hamlin, stage one winner, finishes behind us. I feel like the order stayed the same, except for Kenseth. Um, like the top four, five, slash five order kind of stayed the same. Uh, because of course it was Hamlin, Trex, Jr., and Logano in the top three in uh, stage one. All right. Heading to the end of this race, though. Trying to get win number trace on the year we've dominated so far. I don't know what I'm gonna have my next big speed race. So contemplating what I want that to be. Pretty sure the Xfinity race is like the IK9 service logs. I might do an IK9 uh, scheme for. Uh, Careful, still there. Uh, Clear high, bud. Phoenix. It's actually the Fan Shield 500 though, so they had Fan Shield. Here we go, gonna run on the apron here. Getting ready to hit the 13 laps to go. Let's try to win this bad boy at Texas so we can be shooting those, those pistols and the crew and the revolvers, whatever you want to call it, six shooter. And wear that cowboy hat, you know. They need to have like an actual horse in victory lane or something that the winner gets to keep from kidding. <laughs> at least they get to ride the horse. I guess. And the, they have a new horse every race. And a winner of the race. They name the horse after them. So like, if uh, Trix Jr. won the race, they had to name the horse after them. We're gonna lose it though, we just ran a bad corner there. Losing the lead. All right, we got my boy Matt Kenseth coming to push me though. I like Matt Kenseth, they're a favorite driver. All right, here we go, we're gonna run Trix Jr. down. So I believe that was Shrek Jr.'s like first lead lap of the whole season. So he finally does it. He's still yet to uh, win a race though, or a stage. Oh, we're loose off the corner again. He's gonna get a good run. I'm not sure if we're still clear. We're still gonna lead the lap. Almost 10 laps to go here. Ooh, okay, that was a good corner. Let's try not to get loose though. Not too loose. I'm gonna run the high line here just so I can maybe get a better entry onto the bottom in these corners. But kept it a pretty clean race. Haven't made too much contact. I mean, we made a little bit, I think, at the start of the race, you know, and then that uh, Shrek Jr. But I mean, we weren't shoving him or anything. We were just kind of staying right by him that got him loose. it up for a few laps. I'm just gonna not talk for uh, this next coming lap or, or two. And we're gonna crank it up going here at um, Texas. So here we go. Ooh, wait, we're loose. Okay, yeah. Here we go, guys. Keep running like that, because I mean the last 
two laps, we've had a really bad, bad exit off of turn four, so Kyle Busch finally is up here in the race. We got a little bit loose there again. Contact with my favorite driver. Let's see if he'll uh, go to push me instead of his teammate here. And I think he's going to come down with me to the draft. All right, he's like, no, I got to be the first driver and Joe gives the win. It's fine with me. <laughs> but uh, I I'm still not taking any chance. I mean, we've won three in a row. I guess we could be a little bit generous to the second place driver. Like the Stenny Hamlin. Heck give the win to my boy Kyle. It's been a bit since he's won Texas. By that I mean two years. <laughs> Not too long for a driver, of course, like ten years maybe a while. Twenty years. Um Yeah, we're almost at the end of this race. It seems like at the end of the race we just pull away from the field. Also another glitch I want to point out. I don't, I doubt 704 would be watching this video, but another glitch I would like to point out for this is that, um, I, so I have the car material on that, and it's still, like, gloss. It's like a bug glitch, whatever you call it. Um, so I, I want them to fix that. We're running a lot slower for the car material. Here, 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 my boy Kyle Bush. Should I let Kyle win? I want to, but, uh, I'm still going for that third win in a row. At least three wins has to secure me. If three wins doesn't secure me in the playoffs, four is going to. Four is going to secure me in the playoffs. We've been the Denny Hamlin of this season. Even though Denny Hamlin, he only has two, two stage wins. Two stage one wins in the past two races. If he wins stage one in the next race, might as well just call him the stage one king. <laughs> We're the stage two win and the stage three, or we're the stage two king and the stage three king in this season so far. Looks like our, our win streak might can, uh, I shouldn't have said that yet. We're getting ready to head to two to go. We just got to head, or head, hold off. These drivers for two laps, and that is not good. That is not good. We, okay, we got lucky. We were able to get in front of Denny there. But yeah, we, we cannot run like that. Um, at Texas, we keep getting in the grass off the turn four. It's only turn four. Turn four is my biggest problem with this track. I was leading one time in Texas. I had blue the lead because I got loose. Uh, it was on the last lap. Blue the lead because I got loose at a turn four. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. Here we go. Let's try not to get loose off of this corner. All right. We're good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take the white flag for the third time this season. Looking for my 10th total win in NASCAR Heat 4 and my fourth no, 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 third win of the season. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Denny Hamlin, he's far back. If I don't make a mistake here, it's over. It's a pretty clean corner. We get on the apron, but it's not gonna matter. Oh, we get a bit loose. It's not gonna matter though. Ladies and gentlemen, back to back to back. Vegas Auto Club. Now, Texas, we get our first win, or third win, and our first win in Heat 4 at Texas. So, finally, there we go. Hello, Mr. Flag person and all you officials in the crowd. And the crowd. Let's burn it down for the third time this season. I love, I love burning out. I love it. I'm a fan favorite by now, I think. <laughs> Either that or they hate me for winning all their races. Wait, look, the tire's glitched. You can see the track, like at the bottom of the tire, I'm pretty sure it was glitched. All right, let's get a straight burnout going here before I blow my engine. I'm gonna get a backup burnout going real quick. All right, this is for you fans. Break down backwards. Not, let's not run this boy too fast. I'm not trying to blow an engine just yet. Burn him out. All right, here we go. There we go. That wasn't a bad one. I mean, we could have kept it for a little longer. Let's also just, you know, I love doing burnouts. I love it. All right, let's get one. No, two more, two more. All right, here. I like doing this one too. Get a little bit of smoke flying. 
I did not expect to win this race here at Texas, but um, we did. So um, yeah. <laughs> so that's a good practice for my uh, league race coming up. I think is it Friday or Saturday? I'm not sure. All right. We got a nice wall around going. Let's take a look. We gotta go on board. Alright, that's I think that's good for the announcer. Oh, we can't see the catch points. I'm gonna just magic it here. That's weird. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Right, guys, so uh there we go. We get the win here at Texas. We gotta see our beautiful car in the green line over here for the replay. Kyle Bush though, he finishes fourth. His highest finish is third. There we go, we get our third win of the season. Kyle Bush still in second. We reached 200 points this race. So, uh, we advanced in the points. Let's take a look. I love the trophy here at um, Victor. Uh, I love the trophy here at Texas. We get the O'Reilly Auto Parts 500 uh, win here. That's the third. We collect another, another trophy and we get to see another victory lane. Take a look at our beautiful Pro Core Toyota, Toyota. <laughs> Take a look at our beautiful Pro Core Toyota Camry and Ashton Victory Lane right here. Let's take a look at the stats for the race. We have the fastest lap with a 30.14. What else? We also have the most laps led at 18. On the move, Kyle Busch started 38, finished fourth. I think we saw that one coming. Tough break goes to Corey LaJoy, who started eighth and finished his number of 32nd. And yeah, that's it. So, anyways, guys. Oh, wait. Take a, take a view of this track. So, anyways, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I will see you guys uh, in the next episode where we race at Phoenix International Raceway. Like, goodbye, guys.